Hi, everybody. I'm Alice K. Ruckelhaus from Suffering Well. And today we're going to talk about first Saturdays. Okay, so yesterday, Thursday evening, I did a video about first Fridays. And it was probably too late for many of you to go to that as a result of the video. It's going to be the same problem with first Saturday. It might be a little easier for you because you might not be working or something. But please, even if you can't go, please listen to this. And I want to ask you to do one thing right now. I mean, like, pause the video and do this thing. Get out your calendar or your planner and go to the first Friday of every month and write first Friday in there. And then go the first Saturday of every month. It's often the day after, but sometimes it's a separate week. Um, and, and write first Saturday in there. Just go ahead and schedule it because you guys, these two days are really, really important. They're full of promises too, but I think that what we're trying to fulfill through them is even more important than the promises, if that can even be possible. Okay, so first Friday we talked about yesterday was consoling the heart of Jesus for the many offenses against him, the greatest of which is that he's he's loved us so much and he's died for us, and so many people don't accept that. They, they're just leaving that grace on the table instead of accepting that. And then the um, for Saturday is, is dedicated to consoling the heart of the immaculate, the immaculate heart of Mary. And it's similar to that in that it's some of the offenses, offenses that are made against her, but also, you know, her main purpose is to bring people to her son. And so when people resist that or they refuse that, or they say terrible things about her, I mean, can you imagine how much that hurts? Just like it hurts Jesus when he's done so much for us and we just leave that on the table. It hurts Mary a lot when she is doing so much to bring us to her son and we refuse that or other people refuse that. And one of the cool things about the first Fridays and first Saturdays is that we can make reparation not only for ourselves doing that, but for others doing that as well. Okay, so I want to mention something just parenthetically. I come from a Protestant background. I've only been Catholic for a couple of years, and I spent a couple of years researching very intensely before that. Um, so I come from a background where I think I actually probably did say and do a lot of things against Mary, a lot of things that hurt her. So I'm making reparation for myself. Have my sins not been forgiven? Yes, they've been forgiven. And those were sins. They've been forgiven. But this is an act of love that I want to console her heart. I want to say, oh, I'm so sorry. And I love you. And I, I want to honor you. And I, and I can also do that for others. If you are Protestant or you're Catholic, but you don't really understand what's the big deal with Mary, I would really like to address that in another video. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos short, so I'm not going to address it in this video. But if you have any questions about that, or if you have objections to how Catholics see Mary, go ahead and put those in the, in the questions below, in the comments below. And um, I will do my best to answer those probably in more than one uh, video because I know that there are a lot of objections to them. I understand those because I was there. Um, but like I said, I've done a lot of research and I found out that most of those objections are very, very wrong. Okay, so let's get back to First Saturdays. So we're going to talk about the requirements for First Saturdays, but first I want to talk about the reasons for that. Okay, so Mary asks us to do five consecutive First Saturdays. Okay, Jesus asked us to do nine consecutive first Fridays. All right. And there are promises that go with that. And the reason for the promises is not like, oh, we can do little things and tick off a box and everything. And then, oh, we've got, we're set for life or something like that. It's not that. The promises kind of sound like that, but it's not like a talisman or a superstition or something like that. It's the, the reason for those things and the reason for doing this is not only to console the heart of Jesus or console the heart of Mary, but those things turn us in a direction towards them. When we do these actions, especially when we do them with the right attitude, but I think even if we don't have quite the right attitude, God starts working on us through those things and through those graces to turn our hearts toward him. Of course, it's going to have a much better effect if we have the right attitude. But sometimes, you know, like if you listen to my video on Maria Goretti, 
you know, I started out doing what I needed to do just out of obedience, but I didn't have the right attitude. And God changed my attitude as I continued to obey in that. So I think it's similar to that in this. So why does she ask for first for five first Saturdays? Let me read to you. I'm going to read from, um, this is actually from Holy Cross and Our Lady of Grace um, of Colchester, Vermont. And I like the way that they said this. They said that, you know, she asked for five, five first Saturdays because her heart was encircled with thorns and that there were five main uh, wounds that she had. So the wounds were blasphemies against her immaculate conception, against her perpetual virginity, against the divine and spiritual maternity of Mary. In other words, like being not only Jesus' mother, but our mother. Blasphemies involving the rejection and dishonoring of her images and the neglect of implanting in the heart of children a knowledge and love of this Immaculate Mother. So that's why five first Saturdays. And, you know, you can you can look at all of those um, offenses or grievances all at one time each time, or you, since there's five offenses, you could look at one of those each Saturday that you do this. And, um, and I recommend going on and doing it for more than just the five Saturdays, but the five Saturdays are specifically what she asks for. So, and if you want to know more about any of those particular things, let me know. I'll talk about those in another video, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this short. <laughs> so what are the requirements of the first Saturday? So there's four requirements. First of all, go to confession that should be done before or needs to be done before receiving Holy Communion, if you're going to receive communion, just to make sure that you're in a state of grace. But if you're already in a state of grace, um, then you can go to confession sometime afterwards, but it just needs to be within eight days, either before or after when you receive communion. Okay, so the second thing is to receive Holy Communion. And that does not have to be during a Mass, but that's usually the easiest way. And your church probably has a first Saturday mass. So that's, I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Then there are two more, two more um, requirements. And one is to say the Holy Rosary. So you're going to do that there after the mass or whatever. You're going to say five decades of the rosary. And so you're going to be doing some mysteries with that. But then also keep Mary company for 15 minutes, meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary. Okay, so this was set before we had the fourth set of mysteries, the luminous mysteries. So we're talking about the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, and the glorious mysteries. There's no reason why you can't do those other five, those luminous mysteries in there. And the cool thing, I'm, and again, I'm going to do another video on this because I don't want to take up tons of time here, but the cool thing about the mysteries is that if you do if you do all four sets, you're thinking through Jesus' entire life, and you're thinking of, you know, the things that were important in his life. And I like what Saint John Paul II said, and this is what actually first convinced me to do the Rosary was that he said that his time doing the Rosary each day was his appointment with Mary to look at her photo albums of Jesus, and I just thought. That is so cool. That's so cool because she brings us to her son. Okay, so that's about first Saturday. It's the first Saturday of the month. Um, I read to you the benefits. Um, it started with um, Our Lady of Fatima. She came and that was one of the things that she asked the children to start doing was these first Saturdays. And um, and we've talked about why it's important and and one of the things that you do need to do is when you go for communion, when you go to mass, um, you need to have that attitude of reparation, that you're wanting to make reparation to Our Lady for yourself and also for the world. All right. I love you all. If you have any questions about this, because um, I'm not sure I've done the greatest job of explaining it. I hope I have, but there's like, I'm trying to keep this short. So there's so many things that I've probably left out. So if you have any questions, please leave those in the box below, because I would love to do more videos on this, um, exploring this in a little bit more depth. All right. I love you all. Hope to see you at first Saturday. Bye-bye.